Welcome to another reading vlog. My name is August and this is little Umi and it is a beautiful sunny Saturday. It has just been such a magical day. Earlier today I got together with my sister, saw a little montage of us experiencing this awesome Himalayan salt room which was a very new experience for us. It was this like bed that was lit up from beneath with light bulbs and heated lamps and then there was like Himalayan salt sprinkled on the bed so we were able to lay on it and just like it was so blissful. It was so magical. If you have one in your area, I highly recommend checking it out if you're interested in this because I was like falling in and out of sleep. I don't remember the last time I was that relaxed. It was so lovely. And then we went back to her house and we made some awesome lunch and it is the first spring day where it's like really nice outside. It's about 60 degrees so we were able to sit outside and just enjoy our meal and cook together got to go to a little free library and I found a really cool book that I'll share in my big book haul but for now I'll keep it you know hush hush surprise. Now it's just been a really nice evening of working out and now my partner is going to the grocery store to pick up some stuff for our fancy dinner tonight which is going to be Beyond Burgers. I'm so excited! I haven't had a Beyond Burger in a while so it's going to be really yummy and then the rest of the evening I think I just really want to spend it on our lovely couch back there reading and I just feel so blissed out you know and you just have like such a good day where it was like you're outside in the sunshine and now you're just feeling like perfectly lethargic and just want to soak into a comfy like place. I hope you're all doing really well and having a really lovely day so far. Thank you so much for being here. What I'm currently reading, I am absolutely loving. Like last night in bed while I was reading it, I was just laughing out loud. It is keeping me so entertained and it's exactly what I am looking for in the spring season. I didn't anticipate picking it up, but I'm so glad I did. And that is Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil by John Barrent. This is a non-fiction book, which is so funny because when I first heard the title, the title was so familiar to me, but I didn't realize that it's actually non-fiction. Um, and it just catalogs the history and the quirky people of Savannah, Georgia. And it also kind of centers around this murder mystery. We haven't hit that yet, and I'm on page... 78 and I'm just at the start of chapter 6 but it just follows and catalogs these really quirky characters in Savannah, Georgia and I'm absolutely loving it. I love the atmosphere, I love the writing style, I love the quirky real life people and their stories that we've met so far. It is so funny and just so entertaining and eye-opening as well as having history and context of Savannah. I'm really really enjoying this so I'm really excited to keep reading it tonight especially like especially with the vibes and the mood of today. It just seems like the perfect one to curl up with and just be thoroughly entertained by. It does not read like nonfiction at all, which is why I really like it right now. So that is what I'm currently reading. It's about 12.30 on Sunday. I had a pretty productive morning, so I did my workout first thing, which was grueling. <laughs> and then I just had some breakfast and I did some cleaning. And now I'm gonna go for a little stroll and enjoy the weather because it is sunny and like almost 60 degrees which is just so lovely. So I'm gonna go ahead and head out on a walk and listen at the same time to an audiobook that I've been absolutely loving, which is Here For It by R. Eric Thomas. I'm already about 50% of the way through this audiobook and it is a comedic memoir and it just follows his life, um, some quirky, funny stories, some mishaps and just what it's like to struggle with your identity of being a black queer person. Um, it is just really, really amazing. Like I'm just having so much fun listening to it while also just feeling really connected. And it's awesome because the audiobook is narrated by him as well. So it just adds that feeling of like being in a room and just listening to someone's life story that I love so much. So I'm gonna listen to that while I'm walking and just enjoy the weather and get my legs stretched a little bit after my workout today. I really need it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then 
hopefully do some more reading. I was able to read this morning as well about like another two chapters and I'm over 100 pages into Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil so I'm really loving that still. I'm hoping I can read much more of that today and then get a good chunk of the way through uh, this audiobook while I'm on my walk. So that's my little reading update for you all. So I just finished filming a really fun video that was a pretty last minute decision. I was really not sure what kind of extra content I wanted to do for videos other than vlogs and I was like, I think I'm going to do a book recommendation video based on astrology signs because I'm in Aries, my birthday month is coming up very soon here. And I thought it would be kind of fun to do like a wide variety of books. I will link it, I think it's here. <laughs> so bad with knowing what side it's going to be on. I would love to hear your thoughts if uh, if this is a little mini series that should be continued because it was honestly, I just had so much fun picking out books and like kind of curating things um, and choosing books very like intentionally based on kind of characteristics and traits and stuff. So I just finished filming that and I'm going to go ahead and just start editing. It is still such a beautiful day outside and... I wish I had a backyard. <laughs> Living in an apartment kind of makes me sad sometimes that I don't have a backyard where I can just like sit and lay out and like read in the sunshine somewhere, but oh well. Yeah, wow, what a very productive, great day. Okay, so yesterday I got my second dose of the COVID vaccine, which is awesome. I'm so happy to be fully vaccinated now, but it kicked me in the ass last night. Oh my God. Obviously the side effects that I had from the shot, nowhere close to actual COVID. So I'm grateful for that, but 
was in so much pain last night. It was like really awful shivers. I've never experienced shivers like that before, but like my teeth were chattering and I was like, I couldn't get warm enough. And then I was like sweating too much, but it all happened like so fast in between each other. I've, my whole body felt so achy and sore and like, it was just so feverish feeling and my eyes were hot and watering and like I couldn't get comfortable and it was just really rough. I couldn't move my left arm either, which is where I got the shot. Like I was just kind of like dragging it um, and it's still really tender today, like, but I'm feeling a lot better, but um, I'm not feeling 100% yet. I'm feeling so much better than last night. I'm so glad I'm not where I was last night, but I now have like a really bad headache and I just feel really like really lethargic and that's how all the symptoms started for me yesterday was I just felt so tired, so exhausted, like I could barely keep my eyes open so finally I was like okay I'm just gonna finally move to the bed and just commit to being sleepy and then from there it was like boom here are all these nasty feverish feelings and shivers and stuff so Ooh, it knocked me out and because that like I could barely read last night because I kept falling asleep between chapters um, I'd read one chapter and then I'd be So I decided today since my head hurts so bad I have absolutely nothing on my calendar today of things I need to do which is incredible um, I decided I want to do a read as much as I humanly can day. I'm really excited because I haven't really done one of these, but I've seen other booktubers do like 24 hour readathon or that kind of stuff. Will this actually be a 24 hour readathon? I don't know. So that's what I'm currently doing. I'm gonna go check on my coffee and go ahead and get started with some reading and I'm really excited. I just successfully prepped like eight different meals. Um, I don't cook, I don't bake, I hate cooking. So this is a huge accomplishment for me. And I'm just really proud of myself, I did it. And I only burned a few things, so that's, that's pretty good. Um, that did take several hours though. It's like about 3 p.m. now. And I, while I was cooking, I actually finished listening to Here For It by R. Eric Thomas. So I loved this memoir. It was exactly what I needed, it was just like really, sweet and lighthearted and funny and I just loved his writing style so much like it was just it was just so needed um that was that one and now I'm listening to Fearing the Black Body this is a non-fiction book that follows the racial origins and histories of fat shaming specifically yeah in the black community and while it's such a fascinating like oh my gosh like listening to it I am just continuously like nauseated with the like horrible and disgusting theories that fucking European white people have just like made about people of color like it is so gross and the fact that they like thought they were so right like I'll share um a part that I just finished listening to was talking about how there was this theory that black skin color was made because of buildup of black bile under the skin um, another horrible one 
was that um, this theory was that white people's foreheads protrude more and their lips are further back because they were made for thinking. And then the theory then goes on to say that black people have a more recessed forehead and their lower jaw area and mouth protrude more because they were made for eating, not thinking because they're, and then this is just said throughout the entire book is like how unintelligent, how disgusting, how, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Shoot overindulgent people of color are and it is I don't even know what to say like it's it's I just keep hearing these like little tidbits and I'm like that are you what and it's just so gross because I think like the overconfidence of these like white European guys were just like so <laughs> like the overconfidence in these theories and like the dis oh my god it's frustrating to listen to and it's difficult to listen to because it is very like, it's very informationally dense, um, which I enjoy because I'm learning a lot, but I feel like this is a book that might have been better to read visually in a book that I could annotate. But listening to it is what I have access to and I'm really thankful that Libby has access to the audiobook version. Um, so I'm gonna continue listening to that and kind of making some notes. I'm just feeling really good right now. I have the windows open in the house. I just finished all this meal prepping. I finished a book already today and I just wanna kind of keep the momentum going. And I think tonight as well, I'm gonna do some cat baths. So stay tuned for that content. And you can see what it's like to bathe sphinx cats. It's a process. Oh, oh. oh come on, no. baby. Ow, ow, oh, oh no. Hey, Papa. <laughs> oh. Was that him? <laughs> I thought that was him. I thought that was such a scary oh, sound. Oh my gosh. It is now time for me to close off this lovely reading vlog. Last night, I really surprised myself and I finished reading Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil by John Barrent. I really, really liked this book. I ended up giving it four stars on Goodreads, only just because it wasn't like an all-time favorite. I feel like I've been saving my five-star ratings for books that like I can wholeheartedly say it's one of my top favorite books. So four stars is really, really good. I really enjoyed this. There were so many times where I had to like kind of pinch myself and remind myself that this is all real. Like these are real people, real dialogues, real things that happened. It felt so wild and quirky and weird and totally unbelievable, but it was real. It was all real. It all happened. And I'm so happy I read this book and I am really looking forward to watching the movie now. I just really recommend this book. There are trigger warnings though for really racial and homophobic slurs. Um, it was very uncomfortable, but it's very eye-opening that even in like the late 80s, early 90s when this was written, that was still being said um, and said aloud with like a lot of confidence and oh, Ah, bad. Mm -mm. Definitely keep an eye out for that. Definitely some trigger warnings, especially for like physical assault and murder because this follows a murder trial as well. But 
overall I just really enjoyed this book. I kind of wish I read it before I traveled and visited Savannah many years ago. I mean I doubt I would have actually read this anytime because I was there like my last year of high school because I was actually looking into going to Savannah College of Art and Design. I was accepted there and I declined that because wow expensive tuition. Their, their tuition was nuts. So I wish I did read it because then I could go back and be like, oh my gosh, that's the house that that happened at and that's that house. But I really enjoyed it. I do recommend it. I thought it was really cool and I'm excited to see the movie adaptation, see what they did with that. So, and then, like I said, I did finish reading or listening to Hear For It yesterday as well. I really enjoyed that one as well. If you have access to getting an audiobook, I listened to it over on Libby for free. So like if you have access to it, I definitely recommend listening to the audiobook because our Eric Thomas like put so much of his own in voice inflections and personality into that audiobook that it felt like a podcast. It felt like a chat with friends. So I really recommend that audiobook. Last night I started a new book and oh my god by page six last night y'all. Page six. I was geeking out. I was geeking out over the book. I was reading aloud so many paragraphs to my partner and I was like ow! So this is a huge five-star prediction book for me. It has everything that I love in it and that is Our Tragic Universe by Scarlett Thomas. Wow, two books in a row that the author's last names are Thomas. That's interesting. Look at this cover first off. Look at that shiny gold. Shut up. Then the edges. The edges are black, honey. Oh my gosh, it's so stunning. I found this copy at Goodwill and it will be part of an upcoming thrift haul. Ooh. Definitely keep an eye out for that. Oh my God, I can't stop wiggling it in the sunlight, but I'm really loving this book. It follows an author who is in this kind of like dead end relationship and as she kind of like falters with her life, but she's a book editor as well so she reviews science books and she recently got one that basically said we're living in basically like a simulation and the end of the world is like a real thing but it's like a computer program almost and when the world ends everyone who's ever lived and everyone who had the potential of living will all live in one earth in one space and that's going to be considered heaven but it's going to be kind of like man-made like we have to make the decision to do it because it's like a program i don't know but it's like i love shit like that like i love physics and time and mortality so much like it's my jam i'm definitely noticing a theme the more i'm reading different books and picking them up the ones that are my favorite have to deal with physics mortality time space continuums and just this existential dread <laughs> but this is so well written because it also takes place in this like seaside sleepy town in like the UK or something but then she's also just like living through life and like it just has this romanticism attached to it and all of her, like her and her friends are all really highly intellectual and really intelligent and you just like get to listen in onto their really smart conversations and I just I love that shit I love that shit like that's how I envision myself in the future is just like retiring with a bunch of like smart people and kind of like living in like a commune and just talking about physics and religion and time and philosophy forever that would be super rad so i'm really liking this i'm about i'm 50 pages in and i'm really loving it this is definitely a five star prediction for me but we shall see i'm like scared to read the rest of it though because it's so good and i'm loving it and i'm like please don't disappoint me but i'm about so excited to tell you all more about this book i'm flying through it i just want to sit and read it that's all i want to do but alas i have i have a job i have things to do so that's what I'm currently reading. And that is it, my friends. Thank you so much for joining for another weekly vlog. I appreciate you all so much. I would love to hear what books you're currently reading, uh, if you've read any of the books that I've read, all that fun stuff. How have you been? Let's, let's chat down in the comments. I'll be there. Be there or be square, friends. If you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button if you made it this far. I have new videos coming out every Tuesday and Thursday afternoon, so stay tuned. I appreciate you all so much. So stay cozy, my dear friends. Bye.